before I play the rest of the video guys, I just wanted to do this quick unboxing and as you can see I've already opened this box. But this was a package that was sent out to me by BPI. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them or not, um, but this company right here, BPI Sports. So they sent me out um, a bunch of stuff, a few different samples of their products to try and basically they sent me out an email just reaching out to me and asked if I would be interested and um, I said I definitely would, I'd definitely give it a look. And so far I have tried the protein, which is the chocolate brownie flavor. And um, they sent out me a couple of other flavors. I believe um, a cookies and cream, as you can see here. And then they sent out me some BCAs. And I believe that's snow cone flavor. I haven't tried anything else besides the protein guys. And then just another um, Whey HD, which I believe is vanilla caramel. So definitely excited to try these out. They also sent me a t-shirt with this. Um, they also sent me a t-shirt with this. So I just wanted to bring this up because I am going to be doing a giveaway soon. I'm either going to be doing it here on YouTube or on my Instagram. I'm not exactly sure. I might even be doing both. But basically the winner will receive a um, care package very similar to this, a bunch of samples and um, a bunch of different products to try directly from BPI. Um, I will just need the winner's address, um, but like I said, just stay tuned. Basically, I just wanted to talk to you guys and show you guys this package and basically thank BPI for sending this out. They were also talking to me about a new protein bar that they are working on that has 15 grams of fiber and 20 grams of protein and I believe the flavor that I've seen at least is s'mores and uh, I do like s'mores pop tarts so I'm excited to try that. They said they're going to send that out to me um, and I'll be doing a review on that as well. So hopefully you guys um, enjoy the rest of the video. I Sorry if this took way too long. I will talk to you guys in a minute over the commentary. Thanks for watching guys. So as you guys did just hear, I'm going to be doing a giveaway through BPI Sports and that's going to be in the near future so make sure you guys are keeping your eyes peeled on my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram and subscribe if you guys have not already so you are staying up to date. It will be in the near future and I will be making a video I believe just showing the details regardless if the contest itself is on Instagram or YouTube so stay tuned for that. Before I get talking about the video itself, or the workout itself I should say, just going to be talking to you guys about a quick update. Going to be going to a gym in Glendale or near Milwaukee, I'm pretty close to Milwaukee for you, for those of you who do not know, and I will be doing a photo shoot for them for their website, the gym is called Topline Gym, and it originally just started, I just hit them up and get got in contact with their owner, so I could uh, see if they were allowing me to film, do a YouTube video basically without any trouble and they said that that would be more than fine and they liked what they saw on my Instagram and asked if I would do a shoot for them. So just tightened up a little bit as you saw on my last Instagram post today. Basically just talking about how I lost about 5 pounds or so. Pretty much a lot of it's water weight and just threw in a couple cardio sessions in the last week and a half or so. Basically down about 4 pounds in the morning and I'm gonna be making a video next week about how I did go about that just so you guys who are wondering can kind of understand and see how I'm gonna be getting myself right back on track to continue bulking after this. Really it's not that difficult at all, just something that you can kind of throw in being that you're already at a lean body mass and um, just the simple fact that you're already at that lean body mass, lean body fat I should say you're able to cut down and get yourself a little bit tighter and look a little bit leaner. You're not gonna be show ready by all means. I'm definitely not close to being show ready, but you are gonna tighten up a little bit and look a little bit leaner than you would through my bulk. So just gonna explain to you guys how I did that in a video next week and hopefully you guys do enjoy that. But getting to this workout itself, I am working out with my buddy Rich as you guys can see and we are working on sumos. Sumos is something that I haven't worked on in probably about five months and that's just simply because I've been going with my conventional and really just enjoying that. For those of you who do not know, a sumo stance is what you're seeing right now. Notice how my feet are about um, a little bit outside hip width or even wider and that is what, you're gonna be con what is going to be considered a hip width or sumo stance. And conventional is going to be more of a closer hip width. Um, or narrower. I think I said hip width already once referring to sumo so scratch whatever I just said. 
Conventional is going to be closer stance, about hip width or even narrower for some people, and sumo is going to be wider, what you're seeing me do today. So, like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so I decided to work up to a heavy single and just kind of feel it out. I am going to be able to work up to 405, as you can see here, and it's with pretty good form and speed. I was very, very content with this. I'm going to be going back to sumo just for a couple weeks and just see how it goes, maybe even try for um, a PR, but I'm not exactly sure, just gonna kinda see how it feels, being that I haven't done it in so long. And um, one of the other main things with the sumo is you're gonna be using more of your lower half, being your legs, and your hamstrings, glutes, and quads specifically. And really that for me, and for most people, is gonna allow you to move more weight, but actually I have pulled the 425 conventional and only 415 sumo. So. Like I said, I haven't played with sumo very often in the last five or so months, so going back to that, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how the strength that I gained on my conventional stance is going to transfer over back to my sumo. But um, as a lot of you may know, sumo is a lot more technical of a movement, and um, that is why I'm going to be focusing on the form and just kind of working on that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this quick video. I'm going to leave you with my 405 attempt. And um, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video that's going to be coming out on Friday from Top Line Gym. It's a pretty sweet gym, so hopefully you guys do like that. I will be probably going there more often than just this Friday. So thank you guys again for watching, and enjoy this last and final clip. Talk to you guys soon.